I'm just trying to be what I'm destined to be And niggas trying to take my life away Put a hole in a nigga for fucking with me My back on the wall, now you gon' see I don't wanna tell you time and time to me Cause I'm coming to you like What's up, YouTube? I'm Jack. This is Cam and Jack Reacts. Cam is not here today. Again, out of town. That being said, we got a very special video and a highly requested video. Troublesome 96 Tupac. Long overdue, but we are here. I got the lyrics pulled up as always in case I missed something, but y'all let me know what I missed in the comments below. That being said, if y'all like this video, please make sure to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications if y'all haven't already. It really does make a difference. And uh, it really does help support the channel. Also, if you got any requests, comment it down below. If it's like this, if it's not like this, I'll add it to the list and I'll get to it as soon as possible. Without further ado, though, let's get in the video. Troublesome nigga. Hmm. Okay. Oh, shit. That was hard. I was let me go ahead and pause it so I can get my get my little take. First off, he didn't waste any time. As soon as that beat, there was like three seconds. That that beat is nasty. Again, I'm a beat guy. For those of y'all that are new to this channel, if this is y'all's first video, um, go back and watch my other videos. I am a beat guy. Every video I react to, I make sure to give props to the producer if I can. I'm big into beats. Let me know who produced it. That beat's fire. Very West Coast. You know what I mean? It sounds fire. It's pop. But yeah, he went right in. There was like a short little five second intro when he just went in going crazy. He was saying some shit. He was talking a lot of shit. Did he say something about Biggie in here? Who is he talking about in his track? It seems like he's he's sending disses, like subliminal disses. Y'all let me know. Because he's talking a whole lot of shit. I'm going to run it back a few seconds though. This is the hook though. He's not releasing really anything. But I'm going to run it back anyways because y'all keep telling me to do that. Okay, Outlaws, he's shouting out Outlaws. When was this made? Was it 96, like the song, or was it before? Y'all let me know. Okay, that was hard. Ooh. Yeah. That's a fire movie, by the way. Bro, that was hard. I think I actually like the second verse better than the first. I know um, I'm... I'm missing a lot again. Y'all let me know who, who he's talking about. It seems like he's sending shots at, at someone or multiple people. I'm not for sure. But he's had some powerful lines in there and some real cool like metaphors. Like the first two lines, gutter ways, my mentality is ghetto. We gorilla in this criminal war. We are rebels. I really like that. I think that's a great line to start off a verse. It really sets the tone. It sets the scene for the rest of the verse. Also, the beat, again, back to the beat. I don't really got great speakers right now, so whenever I finish a reaction, I always make sure to go back so I can really pick up the nuances of it. But I'm hearing some like keys or something in the background that's like, uh, y'all let me know what that is. That's fire. That beat, it's just nasty. It fits perfect with what he's saying. I like the, it's got almost like a little faster tempo too than uh, a lot of pot tracks that I've reacted to. They're more slower or pot tracks that I've heard, they're slower. 
This is more fast. It's more. It's more upbeat. It's got a little more energy to it. Let's go. Let's go ahead and get back to it though. Uh oh. Okay, so he's talking about like Biggie and Diddy and all them. Y'all let me know. That was hard. Okay. That's some powerful stuff. And he was saying some real shit throughout that whole third verse. Let me go to pause it. Compared to the other two, the other two seemed like he was more talking shit and he was sending shots again. I know he's, he he just dissed Bad Boy, but was he dissing anyone else? Y'all let me know. Third verse was more like a reflection and a commentary maybe on the, the people that he's around, the people he surrounds himself with, or the people that he sees. I really like that uh, that line, like 25 to life never crossed their mind, that's hard. I really like that. Also, I haven't been saying this, but some of his little rhyme schemes in here are fire. I think Tupac, people love Tupac because of his charisma, because because of the way he says stuff, but uh, he's rhyming as well. The he has his skill that he's demonstrating a high level of skill here, aside from just the content of this song. So this is fire for sure. I think this is my favorite verse so far. I like that he's reflecting, that he's giving his take. That's what I love Tupac for. He gives uh, a really interesting take. You can see stuff through his eyes. I really like that. Let's get back to it though. Oh no, it says that it, it's just an outro. But I'm gonna let it right out though. He said like Napoleon? That's funny. He's talking about Castro and Napoleon. Are these nicknames for people or are they actually like Fidel Castro and stuff? Y'all let me know. Pac's always letting his beats ride out a long time after his songs. I like that though. Yeah, that was hard. Like I said, though, I like when rappers, they uh, they let the beats ride out a while. Because if you're someone who, like, freestyles, it gives you a chance to freestyle. I'm not myself. But, uh, you know, one of my friends is. We might have him as a guest on the channel someday in the future. We will see. But he loves freestyling over this stuff. So I like that. Um, Hail Mary. Or not help me, Hail Mary. Hit him up. We did a hit him up reaction. Y'all make sure to go check that out. The beat rolled out for like a minute or two at the end as well. So I think that's I think that's real cool. I just did a South Park Mexican reaction. He always lets his beats ride out. And someone commented that he does that on purpose because he wants people to freestyle to him and they listen to it. I think that's dope. I think that's real cool. It's like you're giving back to the fans in a, in a, in a way. That was fire though. Definitely going to be doing some more Pox or request some more songs. Always going to have more Bone Thugs coming, so y'all don't got to worry about that. I got some Outcast coming soon. I got some Big Pun coming soon. Big L coming soon. 
I got uh, Ice Cube, Easy E. I got so much stuff coming y'all's way. So I'm really excited for this week. I got exams this week, so I've been filming at like midnight because I've been studying. So I've had to come out at like midnight, one in the morning to film these because I'm determined. I'm not taking any days off. I don't care what it is. I'm filming these videos, but after exams, I got a two week period, no school. Y'all better believe I'm gonna get to all these big reactions. I'm gonna be hustling every day, and this channel is going to blow the fuck up. My goal is to get monetized before the year is over, which we got a lot of work to do, but I think we can do it. Hey Amen. But if y'all like this video, please make sure to like, subscribe, turn on notifications if you haven't already. It really means a lot. It really does. And that's it, y'all. Y'all have a blessed day. Peace.